Hello and welcome to part 5 of our series, How to Perform Spatial Analysis of Data Using QGIS and SynapJ. My name is Wilfred Nguwa. I am an infectious disease epidemiologist and the founder of EpiGuider. In part 4, we ended up where we had represented our first variable, the attack rate on our map, and had it exported as an image. In this video, we will be taking our map to SynapJ editor. Our aim is to add some flavor to our map. By this, I mean have it in a manner that communicates better our data to our expected audience. We'll also be making some key recommendations based on our final map. Let's get to work. If you do not have Snapjet installed on your computer, I would like to refer you to part one of this video series. The Synergic Editor is launched just like any other program on your computer. Go to the Start menu. Start typing in Synergic. And there you go, you have the Synergic Editor. You double click to launch. And there we have our Synergic Editor. Your work canvas should be blank. I have this displayed on mine because I recently worked on it. To import our map, we go to File. Come to open. We now scroll to where we have our exported map from QGIS in our computer. I have it on my desktop. I go to Spatial Data Analysis, to Maps, and here it is. I click on it and open. And here we have our map displayed on the Snagit editor. Our current map has the attack rate variable displayed using Snagit. We will add dead, recovered cases, active cases, and number of COVID-19 testing laboratories by region. The following images could do us some good in representing these variables. Let's see how.
Now that we are done with our map, let's use it to make some recommendations. First, we observe that all 10 regions of the country have been affected by the disease. It is therefore important to have at least a testing site per region. Secondly, the attack rate is high in the center, east, south, littoral, west, and southwest regions. This suggests a rapid risk of spread of the disease in these regions since the attack rate is a measure of risk. While we salute the creation of five testing sites in the center region, one testing site in the east, southwest, and littoral regions, and zero testing site in the east and west regions is inappropriate. We therefore recommend an increase in testing sites or the creation of more testing sites in these high-risk regions. Please add some recommendations you can think of in the comment section of this video. Remember to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Share so others can benefit just as you did. See you in our next course, which will be on mobile data collection. Love you guys. Stay safe.